much, roll it up, now I'm smoking, bruh. He fell on that SD until my lungs are broken, bruh. Hey, what is up, you guys? I wanted to give you a video on how to FTP to your jailbroken PS3. Now, you can do this on a CEX or a DEX CFW, and all you have to have for this really is multi man. Now, if you do have Multi-Man already installed on your PlayStation 3, this is going to be super simple and easy to do. If you don't have Multi-Man installed, all you have to do is download the package and you simply want to put it on a USB and copy it into your packages folder on your console. So, let's just say you've got everything done and you're ready to FTP to your console. If you do want to FTP to your console, as you can see right here, I'm on my PC. You want to open your FTP program. For me, I'm using FileZilla. And as you can see right here, it opens pretty quickly. So for the host, uh, it's pretty simple. You just want to type in whatever your IP address is for your console. So let's say it's 123 or anything like that. Mine is 135, actually. If I could ever get that to type in right and the port and everything like that I just keep simply um, empty the username will be anonymous password and everything like that's completely fine so uh, now we're into our console and for me I usually automatically go to my dev hard drive zero that's your main hard drive on your console and it's super simple to kind of get this figured out once you have FTP into your console so let's just say you want to transfer a game that you already have this is your games folder this is where you install all your new games and everything like that once you have your games installed there is this game folder which has your specific game in it so uh, let's say I think it's 1717 yes that's Black Ops 2 and this is your update folder so as you can see the DLCs right there uh, you can see what's your eBoots. Your eBoots are basically a boot kind of partition the same way Xbox has XEX. Your eBoot will help you protect from being banned if you have a modified eBoot to protect from that with a ban bypass. And you can even have some eBoots that have more than just that in there. So uh, another thing you can do is you can go into your packages folder. So as you can see, I've got PS3 ITA manager so I can delete that and that's the exact folder that I was talking about to uh, copy multi-man into and install now you also have your PlayStation 2 ISO folder for me I've got Def Jam Fight for New York and Def Jam Vendetta inside and you've even got your PlayStation 1 so I've got Die Hard and Tekken 3 on my console you have also got your theme folder and everything like that if you do want to install custom themes and yeah, it's super simple, easy to do. If you do want to FTP to your console, I would definitely recommend FileZilla or another program similar to it. The good thing about FileZilla is if you do go over here to the right next to Quick Connect, you do have the IP address already there, so you can just click that and you can abort the previous connection and connect in a current tab. And there you go, you're back into it. and it'll automatically log you in next time you go in you just click right there click your IP address if it's the same IP address as before and you're good to go so if this video was helpful to you don't forget to like this video and if you do want to see more tutorials like this on PlayStation 3 let me know in the comment section below thank you guys so much I hope you have a great day and a great night peace Face. Look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fair.